because we got some purses here. Michael Kors. Michael Kors. Oh, oh, oh yes. Dooney and Burke. Gee whiz, that's nice. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. Guys, look at that. Uh, Burberry right there. And this, man, you just touch it and you know it's legit. That's Louis Vuitton. Wait, we have another Louis Vuitton in here, I think. Previously on Locker Nuts, lockers have been real hard to buy recently, so I was extra excited to buy this gem. It's a big 10x20 locker full of totes. It looked clean and very well organized. But at $1,800, it wasn't cheap, and right away we found high-value items like a Yeti cooler, KitchenAid mixer, high-end sunglasses. I even found cash and gift cards left behind by the previous owners. There's also a tote of what appears to be high-end handbags. Maybe even Louis Vuitton. Now that the locker is fully moved and secured in my possession, it's time to start cracking open them boxes and see what we find. All right. What's up, locker nuts? Okay, you see I got my GoPro mounted in the garage here. I've got my little phone display there to tell me if my frame is right, the angle's right, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to do some unboxing, all right? I've been, um, well, the garage is getting a little crowded not a new story around here but um yeah i just got too much too much stuff coming in so we gotta start processing this get it back on the truck go back to the locker but then of course it just bring more stuff in but i have a lot of stuff here right now so let's start with these bags right here so right here we've got a bag you see it's got a little basketball symbol on there um oh a couple of clothes i pulled out of something um calvin klein i think these were loose like on top of a bag or something and then uh, here's a nice little buffalo. I think, what's buffalo? Is that Walmart or something? Um, uh, it's a nice little jacket. Nice little jacket. I don't think it's that expensive. High, I don't think it's high end. But it's nice. It is nice. So these people had two daughters. And so you finding a lot of girls' clothes. I think they're a little bit older now. I don't know for sure. Um, but they also played basketball. Hence the basketball bag. And then we got this big Samson Samsonite. I mean, if they're going to have luggage, they got Samsonite, so these guys liked nice stuff. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we've got some timesheets here, and it looks like a bunch of schoolwork. Trip to the eye doctor. Now, all this kind of stuff I recycle. All right, we don't throw that away. We just recycle it. Yeah. Check that out. A couple shoe organizers. Not a big deal, but it all sells. A nice little purse. It's like a picnic basket purse. Look at that. It's cool. I don't see a brand. But that's pretty nice with the leather strap. It really doesn't even look used. Okay. SJND. That's what that says too. Pilots. Um it's a big blanket. It's a big blanket that that's actually that's pretty nice. Okay. Ooh. Are we seeing that in here? What's that? Okay, because we got some purses here. Purses, leather. Okay. Michael Kors. It's all stamped Michael Kors inside. Hopefully there's enough light in here for this. Michael Kors purse. A little wear mark right here, but um, man, the inside's clean. I'll tell you what, usually we find purses, even if they're nice purses, the inside's all funked up from like makeup and gum and just gross stuff sticky, dusty, dirty. Not that one, Michael Kors. Oh, oh, oh. another leather purse this time, hot pink, and there's something in here. Okay. The nail shop. Someone got a pedicure. Oh, it's a voided check. Hmm. Okay. A bank envelope. Receipts. Okay. 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 You just gotta be willing to look out for any envelopes of money, and I'm not kidding when I say that because 
We found a lot of money in this locker already. Not a lot, a lot, but a couple hundred dollars in cold hard cash. And we're finding a lot of gift cards. So we checked some of them. Some had money on them. Other ones didn't, so... Okay, a bunch, a bunch of junk mail. The inside of this one's nice, too. Nice and clean. Two Michael Kors purses. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Michael Kors. We like Michael Kors. Again, it's super clean inside. There's nothing inside, but it does feel like it's been used. And I say it feels like it's been used because there's not really any signs of use. There's no, I don't see any scuff marks. I don't see any dirt, scratches. Nothing really, but it just uh, um, maybe just because it's been in a, a duffel bag, it just has that little bit softer feel. It's not real stiff like if it were brand brand new. Hmm. I wonder if this thing's got any value, because I know those three do. That's a really good find. Let's yeah. See. Also, I wanted to mention I did go through this one last night. This is um, a North Face backpack. It's a little dirty around the edges and stuff. You see dirt mark. They definitely use this. I think for school. Because there's a bunch of binders and school paperwork in here. I think you can throw this in the washing machine. And this is going to clean up very nicely. See up tonight. First of all, oh, there's some stuff in here. Tom's. A little Tom's bag. I know we got some Tom's shoes because I saw them through the clear bin. Although I haven't looked in that bin yet. I know we got quite a few pairs of Tom's. That one's empty. Okay, there we go. Some Converse. Leather Converses, huh? That's nice. That is nice. My battery died again on this GoPro. So right now I'm doing the first time ever I've got it actually plugged into a USB cord. Let's see if that works a little bit better. All right, College of Alameda. That's interesting. So the reason why I find that interesting, so I think the gir they're girls were a little bit older and actually went to college. I think they're college aged. Maybe they're even older than that, but a lot of the stuff I found is from when they were younger. So that's nice, huh? A little tie dye handkerchief, 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 handkerchief. Handkerchiefs have become very popular right now because they can also be used as a face mask. All right, Converse. These ones are a little worn. Down on the bottom, the tread's a little bit gone, but they are leather. It's worth a few bucks. A few bucks right there, so that's good. California Aquarium, Monterey Bay. Monterey Bay Aquarium. That's pretty cool. Adidas Summer League NBA Medium. Nice. I really haven't gone through any of the clothes yet, so I'm going to take my time in the beginning. This one says divided. It's divided. I'm going to take my time in the beginning here just to, so I can get a feel for... You know, like the, the brands that they bought, the quality, all that kind of stuff. Oh, Golden State Warriors. That's good right there. Gap. Scarf. Some more leggings. Leggings. Fuzzy socks. Basic. That's kind of cool. New York City. Okay, I only kept a couple... A couple pieces out of that. Everything else I think will go to flea market or garage sale. Another nice bag. Found a dime. Up 10 cents now. <laughs> For today. Another dime. Oh, ho, ho. We're on a roll. Some bubble yum. No, thank you. I don't see a brand on here. Dooney and Burke. Okay, take it back. Dooney and Burke. Gee whiz, that's nice. I thought that felt nice. And it's nice. Okay, let's check this out. What do we got here? Permeable Platinum Banana Republic. That's a little bit nicer. Oh boy. A lot of socks. Socks and chonies, socks and chonies. Cable and gauge? I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know that brand. Got some snags. Dang. A lot of snags. That's the first damaged piece of clothes I had found. 
Everything else is so nice because they barely worn their stuff. They just buy new stuff. DKNY wool sweater forever 21. Cheap, cheap, cheap. It was a Nike shirt. Not bad. All right, I'll put that aside. Calvin Klein. I think this is the dad stuff. That's like a triple X. Double X. <laughs> okay, check this out, guys. I got this big old garbage bag. I had looked in it before, and I, I, I'm I, like, oh, it's a big blanket. And, oh, wow, it's really soft. And, uh, hmm, that's nice. And then uh, just right now, as I was picking that up to bring it up here, I saw a tag. Where was that tag? Because... I didn't see it when I originally brought this in the garage. Uh, where is the tag? Oh my goodness, there it is. Look at that. Ugh. Ugh. It's an Ugg blanket. Wait a second. Wait a second. What, what's going on here? What's going on here? That's just a little blanket. That's a little blanket. This is a big blanket. This is Ugg. Ugg. What's with the little blanket, though? What's the deal there? Oh my goodness, this thing is huge and really, really soft. And oh, here's another little one. I mean, I think this might be a pillow sham, but it is indeed. So it does open. That is a pillowcase or a pillow sham. Okay. Huh. That's a fuzzy, wuzzy blanket right there. And that's probably a very warm, very, very warm. Let's see what size it is. King size, same size that it, my bed is. <laughs> what a coincidence. What a quinky dink. Okay, let's look in here. This is that little backpack. I think it had waters in it. Case Logic, nice backpack. Very cool. A little bit smaller size, like not really for like school stuff. Well, it looks like they used it for school stuff. Hospital. Somebody like their chocolate. Man, these people stayed at hotels a lot. All right, I'm getting it now. I'm getting it. Okay, so I think the guy's a coach. He's a coach, basketball coach, CYO or something. There's a basketball coaching clipboard. Pretty cool. I'm going to keep that. An extra jersey, right? Because sometimes girls show up late and they forget the jerseys. So here you have a couple jerseys, a couple pairs of shorts, different sizes, I think. A little towel. You got lots of snacks in here. And the reason for the snacks is because if the girls get, like, they didn't eat or something, they start running out of gas. Here's a Benadryl it's for scorekeeping. All right. There was a little slip for a, hall, a hospital admission. Wouldn't be surprised if one of the girls broke a leg or, you know, got some sort of injury and got to the hospital, maybe concussion or something. So, ah, <laughs> no coaching jobs complete without a whistle. All right. A piece of luggage. Like I said, the people traveled a lot, so not really a big surprise that they had so much luggage. Okay. Oh, boy. I think they had a cat. I think this is a cat. Is that a cat? This is a cat travel bag. <laughs> so funny. Or a little dog. Maybe it's a little dog, because see this? That thing's nice. That's a nice little leash right there. What's in here? Little treats. Oh, little poop poop bags. Ah, this is a, mo a mobile bowl. That's what that is. How funny. Okay, we've got another garbage bag here full of stuff. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at this. <laughs> One Direction, One Direction, the band. I wonder if this is in the realm of concert t-shirts, like collectability. One Direction, definitely a teeny bopper band, right? Pain sh sweatshirt. Yeah. I don't know. It's funny. Aeropostal. Almost famous. Oh, look at this. Brand new tags. Hello Kitty. No price on it, but it's brand new. Large. Huh. 
Huh, that's cool. Tags. Nice. Oh, whoa. Ho, ho. Guys, look at that. Wait, is this the same one that we found before? I don't think so. We found a True Religion pair of jeans, but I think... I don't know. Was that in a bin? I can't remember now. These are kid sizes. Size 10. True Religion. Alright, are these still worth money? I don't know. It's been a while since I found one, so I couldn't really tell you if they're valuable like they used to be, but happy to find that. Oh, this is a, in a garbage bag. <laughs> Another true religion. True religion. Size 7. Let's keep it rolling here. Rolling, rolling. Rolling. Nope, here's Old Navy. So, oh, brand new with tags. Heart and Crush. Macy's has the price cut off, so it's probably a gift. Epic Threads. Another Epic Threads. I don't know what that brand is. 21. You know, it's this. Aero Pistol. That is nicer, though. It's a nice little jacket right there. I mean, it's all kids' clothes, so it's not going to have, like, I don't think. It's going to have like Forever 21. It's not going to have super high value, but bring it to the flea market. We will sell it. We will sell it. Probably not for more than a dollar or two a piece, though. Divided, it says. Divided. Okay, I'm going to start going a little quicker here because it's taking too long. Gap Kids, nice little jean jacket. Jean jacket should be like three to five bucks, depending on what market. Juicy Couture right here. Juicy Couture. All right. That's a little nicer. All right. All right, I think this might be some of the ladies' clothes, maybe. This is Ann Taylor right here. Ann Taylor Petites Talbots. Okay. All right, look at that. Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein top with tags. $79.50 on this. Size small. <laughs> that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Man, here's another piece with a tag. U.S. Polo Association. Not... Not terribly high end. 52 bucks though. It's not cheap either. Oh, here's some more. Amber Crombie and Fitch. Huh. 68 no 88 no 68 dollars marked down the 19 dollars 90 cents. Bullhead denim. Forever 21, but it's brand new with tags. US Polo Association, a little sweater. Okay, a little sweater. No price. But brand new with tags. Another brand new tags right here. Kiddo. Kiddo. From Norsham Rack. 20 bucks. It's a little blouse. 20 bucks. Trucker, Tate, Trucker and Tate. Brand new with tags. Another Forever 21. Not expensive. 18 bucks, but brand new with tags. Again, another Forever 21 piece. Brand new with tags. 18 bucks. A little tank top blouse. Another brand new with tags. Forever 21. $19.90, a little blouse. It's good. That's what it says right here. Big Bang Theory is on the the tag here. It says Bazinga. <laughs> Here's another one, guys. I have quite a few of these bags of clothing. Quite a few.
Okay, Gianna's been dying to see what's in here. So how about we take a peek? Oh, oh, hmm. Oh, look at this. This looks really good, you guys. What's that say? Mark Mark Jacobs. Yeah, I think this looks good. <laughs> Let's see. I got my GoPro on it. Get a little better angle. Let's see what we got here, guys. I think we got some good stuff here. Mark by Mark Jacobs, it says. And that's what these are. Ooh, dang. I, like I've said it many times before, when you pick up a nice pair of sunglasses, you can just tell. You can just tell, although the lenses right there are kind of loose. It's funny, it's like the other ones that we found, they're kind of loose. Um, I just got to get my little tiny screwdriver, tighten that up a bit. What you can't fix is scratches on the lens, and these <laughs> don't appear to have any. That's a beautiful pair of sunglasses right there. Marc Jacobs, I think that's expensive. I think those are pretty expensive. <whistles> nice. Okay, good start. I think it's going to get better. Okay, so this is Charles David. Let's see what this is. But then this is Stephen by Steve Madden, okay? I don't think Steve Madden's like terribly high, high level brand, but this is a nice purse. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. And there's some travel tags here from JetBlue. And the straps inside, I mean, it... Silicone gel. Guys, this looks brand new on the inside. I don't think this purse was used. I don't see how you can use purses without scuffing them up. You know? I don't see any marks. This is really good. Really good. If you remember, I think it's the first episode or second episode, I found those little tiny boxes of, uh, it looked almost like a key ring, and they unfolded into like a hook. People, thank you. So everyone who's commented on that, thank you so much. Those turn out to be <laughs> wow, Burberry. Okay, I'm talking uh, Burberry right there. And this man, you just touch it and you know it's legit. Super duper nice. Ooh, that's a beautiful little purse right there. So what I was saying is those little fold-out things. Those are hooks for your purse, so you don't have to put your purse on the ground. They clip on the table and they hang your purse off the table. These people not only like fine purses, they also knew how to take care of them. They were able to use these purses without any sign of use. Good for them. I don't think I've ever found a nicer purse collection. Okay, a couple of Fandango tickets to the Muppets. <laughs> they really did use it. And some mega rich body lotion. Yeah, I think these people were mega rich. What's in here? Okay, a couple Tylenols and a quarter. Woo! I like find me money. Keep that. All right, Burberry purse. So what's a Burberry purse like this worth? I'm not sure. We'll have to look it up. What else is in here? Huh, look at that. It's a second dust bag. Burberry. Oh, I hope we find another Burberry. That's a second dust bag. Burberry card right here. Huh. Oh, man. Okay. Burberry good. Burberry good. Dooney and Bork. 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 Still got all the paper inside. Brand new, I think. No signs of wear on the inside, guys. I think this one's brand new as well. Dooney and Bork. And again, beautiful quality. You can feel it. No signs of wear anywhere. Nowhere to be found. I love it. I think that's a good verse. Oh, what's this? Okay, wait. This looks like, I don't know. Is that Gucci? I don't know, but this is not Gucci. That's Louis Vuitton. Wait, we have another Louis Vuitton in here, I think. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, what does it say here? Louis Vuitton, Paris. Boy, that sure looks real. Um, 
and the inside, I don't really know. I don't know much about Louis Vuitton. I know I bought Jana one once. See the tag in there? Hmm. Still got the wrapping. Well, no, it's just newspaper. I don't know if that's a good sign. Look at that. Inside, it looks beautiful. It's leather. It's like a suede, and it's spotless. A little zipper right here. Still has the, a little protective tape over it. Or not tape, but like paper. And tape over the paper to protect it. So it doesn't get scuffed up. Man, oh man. Louis Vuitton. Okay, I'll put that paper back inside. I think it was just so it doesn't get flattened in this box. Put this back in here. I think that's a Gucci bag though. Dust bag. Okay, this dust bag. This is Michael Kors. We like that. That's another good brand. I already found a few of Michael Kors purses. Ooh, that's a good sale, huh? Somebody's interested in the Yeti cooler. I listed for 200 bucks. All right. Beautiful. Clean, clean, clean on the inside. I uh, wonder what type of uh, leather that is. Because what does it look like? It looks like an alligator or something. It's very soft, though. Huh. Interesting. I'm a little blown away right now, guys. This, this is a. I know this is a great. This is a great find. The Louis Vuitton, I think, is got to be. Five hundred bucks. I don't know. Maybe more. It's got to be a five hundred dollar find. Okay, but this is the one. This is the one. Right here. This is what I saw in the window on the outside, and what I. After I bought it, I can't take credit for seeing that during the bidding. Pure luck. Um, okay. Oh, man, it's again nice, soft. The inside's very nice. I don't think it was used, guys. I think they just like to buy stuff. I don't see a Louis. Um, badge or emblem on the inside though is that right is that wrong I don't know you tell me if you know something but this looks legit really don't know really don't know I don't know if they're supposed to have something on the inside okay what is this logo right here please be Gucci this is what's on that bag right there okay, a little bit of body lotions what is this What's that logo? Is that Gucci? Please be Gucci. This one has a lot of stuff inside, so we definitely we're using this one. I maybe see a little bit of... Yeah, I do. I see a little bit of dirt on this. A little bit of dirt. And I wouldn't say stains or scuffs or wear marks. Just a little bit of dirt. Like real light right here. Barely anything. But they definitely did use this one. Well, it just keeps giving, doesn't it? This is Gucci. <laughs> that says Gucci right there. That says Gucci. So, alright. I've had very little experience with Gucci as well. So, Gucci compared to Louis Vuitton, is that as good? Is it not as good? Is it better? I don't know. See if we've got anything in here. Looks like just a bunch of junk to me. Oh, I guess not. Here's a ring. It feels very light. Here's another ring. Oh, man. Also feels light. Is this getting on camera? Oh, my goodness. Please be real. Here's an. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, that stamps something. Do you see that? It's got a stamp in there. I'm going to have to check this out. Look at that. Please be real. That is a beautiful ring if that is real. Hmm. I just don't think it is. I don't think it is. No business cards. Calls. Okay, wait a second now. <laughs> I was excited about the purses, but maybe the jewelry is something. Maybe you find something else, too. Let's see, come on. Oh, there was money in there. 
about another 53 cents right here. All right, that ain't bad. But the real, oh, the real money could be this. Let's take a look at those. All right, nope, nope, nope. The rings are not checking out. They passed the magnet test, okay? That, that shows you what a magnet test is worth. Not that much. Um, but they really, they don't feel, the weight's not right. The weight's not right. And the sound, it's not quite right. It's pretty close, but it's not quite right. Um, there are markings inside this one right here. There's some markings. You can see the marking there. I can't even read it. I get my loop out because it's so sloppy, which it's just not a high quality ring. There's also some pitting on the inside of the ring, pitting in there in the metal, which I think is just a cheap coating over cheap metal probably. But anyways, they're not real. They don't check out. So um, unfortunate because these guys had so much money and they bought so many nice things. Um, you know, coach wall, uh, coach handbags or was there a wallet i forget there's a wallet what was the wallet i don't even remember it's been so many nice things already and i'm only through a small portion of it but that bin where is it over here i don't know back there somewhere that bin of handbags and the glasses unfortunately not these but um i still think that one single bin with two louis vuittons and they do look real all right they look legit um what else is in there a gucci uh Burberry, Michael Kors, and I forget what the other one was. There's so much good stuff in there. I still think that one bin could could very well pay for the entire locker. If not, it's going to be pretty close. If not, you know, we had those other few handbags earlier in this episode. The handbag dollar amount is starting to stack up, and I think that just the handbags we found in this video, but especially the ones in that last bin, I think pay for the whole unit, the 1800 I spent on it. I love it when that happens. Actually, I love it when one item pays for the whole unit, but I'm happy with one box, especially when there was, what, 125 bins, and not including cardboard boxes and other items in there. We've already made some sales on this unit, and let's not forget all the cash and gift cards we also found. I'm well on my way to making some profit. We'll give you an update in a future episode, but for right now, bust on the rings they're still pretty but not the real thing so uh, before we go I wanted to give a quick shout out to <laughs> dusty old dude dusty old dude is a longtime member and supporter of our channel he is bonafide nuts which means that he signed up for the bonafide nuts membership if you guys are curious about what memberships are hit the join button down below it's next to subscribe and a little video will tell you what it is and what it includes so dusty old dude check out his little profile pic too right there uh he's kind of like a super fan because see that he's got a hat and a locker nut shirt and he put that photo as his profile pic you know i love that i love that so much so, all right thanks dusty old dude we really appreciate you all right, guys, the, we will have another video out very, very soon. I have so much to get through, as I already said. Um, lots and lots of bins. I've peeked in some because we had to pull the paperwork out, but most of those bins are untapped and unexplored. We're going to do that together on film. I'm hoping you guys are loving this unit because you know I am. All right? <laughs> It'll be out soon. All right? Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you soon here on Lock of Nuts. All right, we have 104 boxes in our storage to go through, but I still have these also in addition. These two stacks from the first day I was there, the first truckload, a couple boxes here, and I think we might start, let's start with this one right here. Chinese figurines in the garage sale. Looks interesting. 